Hi everyone, in this video I will show you a new method on how to recover your Facebook account most especially if you've been getting this error that we don't recognize your device when you reach that step of no longer have access to this. So I'll be taking you through each and every step until you reach the point of recovering your Facebook account successfully without going through that error. So the first thing you need to do is to uninstall Facebook Lite. In case you have it installed, you will uninstall Facebook Lite. So after uninstalling, you go ahead and install the official Facebook app. But in case you have it installed, you can just update. But even if you don't update, so long as it's installed, it's okay. So having that in place, now the next thing you're going to do is to open your Chrome browser. And then those are the steps that I'll be taking you through step by step. So you open your Chrome browser. Then uh, on the search tab, you're going to type this. So you type no email, no password. And then you click enter. No email, no password. Then you enter. So when you enter, you select the first option. I can't reset my Facebook password because I can't access the email. Or... So that's what you click. So after clicking that, uh, you scroll down to the bottom. Other useful resources. You click login troubleshooting tips. Then from here also still, you scroll down to the bottom. Then you will choose this option that learn what to do if you think your account was hacked. So you click on that, drop down arrow, then tap get started. So from there, uh, you click someone else gained access to my account. Then the next thing, no, I can't log in. Then the next one is, no, I can't access the phone number or email. Then you click that link facebook.com stroke login stroke identify. Right? So from here, it will require you to enter your number. But because the mobile number was hacked, you click search by email or name. So you type your name here. So after typing the name, you click search. So if you, it doesn't bring your name, usually it will prompt you to enter the month of birth. Then you'll be able to uh, see your name. So after it has brought your name, you choose your name. Then it will require you to enter password, but you click try another way. Then it will require your email, but you click no longer have access to this because the email uh, has been hacked, so you don't have access to, the, to it. Now, when you get this error, so don't proceed from here. What you're going to do is you're going to open your Facebook account app the one that you installed already not facebook Lite, but facebook app so after opening on the login page you click find your account so when you tap that uh, you click search by your email instead so here you just type your name because you don't have access to the phone number you just type your name don't worry about the email issue so after typing your name, you click find your account. So from here, you will see this option of get code. So you don't put, you don't put password, just tap get code. They won't send any code anywhere. You don't have the phone number, you don't have the email. So you just click get code. Then from here at the bottom, you will see no longer have access to this. So it will look like as if it is disabled, but it is clickable when you click that this page will come i've lost access to my login details so then from here you can tap start so i hope you've been following very well so then after that it will require you to set a new login email now this email will be used for sending the code but when you're filling the email you put the email that you've never used in creating any other facebook account it should be strictly a new email because if you enter the one that you already used, it will be rejected. So you put a new email that you have not used for creating any other Facebook account. 
So after entering the email, you click get code. So you make sure that you are able to access this email obviously because they will send the code to it. So now from here, you go to your Gmail app or your email folder. Then you open Gmail and then you open that email from Facebook. Then you copy that code. So you simply copy that code and then you go and paste it on this confirm new login email code. So after pasting the code, you click confirm. So from here, there are three options of confirming whether it's you. You can either take a selfie or enter an old password. Then when you click see more, you'll have other options, most especially of uploading an ID, right? So if you remember the old password, you can put the old password. If you can take a video selfie, it is okay so long as your camera is clear, but the best option is always to upload an ID. So you click upload ID. Now under the ID types, there are very many types, either passport, a driver's license, a national ident card. When you click show more, it will bring other options of the IDs that are valid, that are acceptable on Facebook. So you can put other, maybe your voter's ID, national age card, but for now I'll choose ID. Then after you've selected the type of the ID that you have, you click next. So from here, it will require you to, to take a photo of your ID. So you click get started, but you make sure that you place your ID on a flat surface and a white surface most uh, to be precise so that it's very clear. And then you allow permissions and access to the camera. Then you take a photo of your ID. After you've taken the photo, you click submit. So after submitting, it will take a couple of hours, probably 24 to 48 hours. Then after they have confirmed, you'll receive a new email that will conf that will uh, have the reset password option. So you click reset password and then you enter your new password then you click reset so after that you can also enter a new email or if you have other existing emails that you like to continue and probably you just forgot uh, the password of the email you can select the existing email or you can enter a new email then after you've entered the new email or chosen the existing one you click submit so from there after submitting automatically you will be able to have access back to your account. So this is the easiest method on how to solve this problem if we don't recognize your device. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and share this video and you can follow me on Instagram at alphamediaug and see you in my coming videos.